Hey everybody, this is Clay, the Average Gamer, and uh, tonight I am bringing you a game of Team Deathmatch here on Stadium. Guys, this ends up being a really close, really good game, and uh, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm watching these videos, uh, seeing those ridiculous KDs are, are fun every once in a while, but my favorite ones to watch are these ones that are close and uh, kind of keep you on your toes. So I hope you don't mind me bringing you this tonight. Uh, it's a good, fun game to watch, and I hope you enjoy. Um, Guys, the first thing I really want to talk about tonight, I don't think that I've actually had a chance uh, to do this um, in any of my videos, but uh, uh, recently I've gotten a bunch of new subs, and uh, I really wanted to give you guys a quick shout-out and just say thank you. Um, I really think it's uh, cool that there are people that... Uh, enjoy my content enough to uh, subscribe and keep up with my channel make comments and uh, and anyways I really appreciate it um, and so yeah I wanted to say thank you guys thank you all tonight I hope I uh, can continue to bring you the kind of game play that you enjoy watching and uh, as always you know leave comments and let me know what you guys would like to see and uh, I will do my best to uh, to please you guys um, and I want to talk uh, real quick about a couple things that are coming up on my channel. Uh, you know, I've got, of course, the L.A. Noir. I finally finished my Mortal Kombat uh, gameplay. Uh, I'm working on the L.A. Noir. Uh, I haven't really been playing Black Ops too much. I've got some games saved up that I'm going to bring you from time to time, and I do plan on jumping back into it. I actually tried to play a couple of games last night, and it was really, really funny. Started off with COD 4, and then uh, even played some Modern Warfare 2 and a game or two of Black Ops. And I mean, it was funny because I got freaking annihilated. It was uh, just ridiculous. But uh, it was frustrating uh, to the point where I just wanted to... Uh, Hunt my controller through the front of my television and, um, you know, take it out. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do that, thankfully, but I sure did feel like it. Uh, but I'm also going to be traveling a lot in uh, June. I've got to go uh, to uh, South Texas uh, for work uh, early June, and then mid-June I'm going to New York uh, just, just for fun to watch uh, a concert. I'm going to see Eddie Vedder. Uh, for those of you that may know who he is, uh, he's going to be playing a couple of nights up there. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to bring you you know, a video clip if I can manage to get my recorder in there, and I'll, I'll bring you a, a, a little clip of uh, him playing. And then I've also going to uh, the beach at the end of June. So like for the entire four weeks of June, I'm going to be gone like three three out of the four. Um, and I'm just trying to really figure out what, what exactly I can uh, do for you guys to uh, continue to bring you videos during that time. It may be something where I have to make them in advance and upload them in advance and then put them on private and then kind of as time goes on just uh, turn them to public. So uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. If you guys got some ideas, then please uh, feel free to let me know. And that's really kind of the updates that I was want to talk to you all about tonight. Um, another thing I was going to talk to you guys about is these uh, storms and uh, the tornadoes and stuff going out in the, the south. Um, I am from the south and have spent a lot of time um, having to worry about my electricity going off and things getting... In fact, uh, my gaming TV, uh, it got struck by lightning uh, the other night and uh, it actually blew my television so I had to go uh, get it repaired. Um, it also blew my modem and my router as well as my DVR uh, so it was um, it was quite interesting and uh, not only that we've been under tornado warnings a lot lately um, in fact there is a uh, major tornado warning tonight uh, we've got you know the car packed and uh, ready to go down to a uh, storm shelter um, if the storm ends up getting too close so I don't know if you guys are going through that a lot right now but it has I have been here and it's been a it's been a lot crazier than normal I mean the uh, the south we've always been kinda known for having a lot of uh, tornadoes but this is this this little you know past couple of months has really been uh, crazy even even for this area so um, you know, I'm going to guys, uh, hopefully, you know, that none of that stuff will actually end up affecting us, but uh, just kind of letting you guys know um, what's going on in my part of the world. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I was going to tell you, too, I just got back um, from a trip to Louisiana. I, Bill Keys, I believe that you are that this is part of uh, partly your area uh, if so uh, we had a blast and uh, appreciate you having us even though you didn't uh, ask us we just kinda made our way down there on our own we went down there for uh, for work primarily and um, 
and then uh, took a couple of days just to kind of play. And we actually went to an alligator farm. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been to an alligator farm. Now, this wasn't nearly, I didn't feel nearly like as uh, threatened for my life as I did um, whenever I was at the Rattlesnake Derby. <laughs> But it was still a little intimidating, and I got a clip of uh, some of these alligators at the end of the uh, at the end of the video here, just to kind of let you see. These guys are, I mean, they are big, and they're uh, the real deal. I mean, I can't imagine uh, getting getting caught in the uh, in the water with one of these things. It was, it was they're, they're like I said, they're just pretty intimidating. They're a lot larger, uh, I guess, than I I had thought they were. For some reason, I knew they were large animals, but. Uh, I guess maybe I just wasn't didn't realize that they could grow to be as big as uh, some of them that we saw. Uh, how, how big they really got. Like I said, I, I didn't feel in danger <laughs> at any point in time, uh, or, or nervous that you know anything that I was going to get bit or or anything like that. Like I did at the the rattlesnake derby. Um, but it was still a very cool experience, and uh, you know I got to see them feed the alligators, and uh, and we got to see them. Uh, just some of the alligators up close and in and, and pens and cages and and things like that oh we actually got to uh hold one of the alligators believe it or not they had this little <laughs> i can't just booth uh just sound familiar the, the rattlesnake derby they had the little booth where you could uh, have your picture taken and they had like one of the little alligators that you could actually hold and they this one though they did tape the mouth shut because i mean it was a freaking black electrical tape and i made sure of that but uh so anyway we all got to hold it and one of the best i guess family pictures that uh i think we've had taken in a, in a long time which i thought was kind of funny um but this uh this alligator uh i mean they felt a lot different than um i thought they would i mean i, I you know i used to uh, one of my favorite things to do as a kid was to go out and catch snakes in the backyard and i was pretty you know reptile wise i guess uh, back then I, I mean i knew you know a how to tell a, a poisonous snake from a non-poisonous snake and i typically only caught you know very small snakes but you know you kind of get the used to the way snakes feel they look like they're going to be really slimy but they're actually really smooth and um and uh and anyway that's kind of the way uh it's a, not kind of that's exactly the way uh an alligator felt uh, at least on his stomach uh his stomach and underneath were uh, extremely uh felt exactly like a snake if you guys have ever ever picked one up or held one but uh on top i mean it was like hardcore armor i mean it was thick and scaly and uh very interesting anyway so uh yeah we had a we had a good time in uh in in louisiana guys i hope you i'm glad this guy was the last kill he was you've probably seen him. he was kneeling and just hanging out the entire game uh guys i hope you enjoyed the game uh it was really close 7500 to 7300 i think my final score was 26 and 12 uh so you know all right game uh guys i appreciate it uh again i hope you guys enjoyed the commentary if so feel free to rate comment or subscribe this is the average gamer until next time i'm out peace the alligator oh man that is a daddy gator there there's a little gator right there behind him Wow. Big Gator. <laughs>